Hi everybody, we're going to be doing some guided reading and today we're going to be looking at, what's, looking at defining what summarising is but first, before we go on to that, how many of our vipers can you name and can you tell me what each one of them is or do you know what each one of them is? So pause the video, write them all down, tell me what they are. So, how many of them did you remember? We've got V for vocabulary, E for infer, P to predict, E for explain, R for retrieve, S for sequence or summarise. And today we are, of course, doing summarise. Now, to summarise, we just get the main ideas of more than one paragraph. Now, what exactly does that mean? And what skills does it involve? So it involves condensing a large amount of information and what do we mean by condense so to make this smaller when you condense large chunks of information you make them smaller and easier to read um, and we do this by creating what's called summaries and there are lots of different levels of summary so you might have a one sentence summary you might have a short paragraph summary and you might watch a trailer like a movie trailer is a good summary obviously we miss out some important bits uh, a blurb on the back of a book is a summary. The little, when you uh, look at the TV guide, you get little summaries of each of the programs. On Netflix, you see little summaries. So there's lots of different levels of uh, summary and summarising, and we're just going to be exploring that a little bit further. So, as I said, for example, when people explain the plot of a film, to a friend, they don't say every single detail that happened. They just say the main points. You can't say every single detail because you'll be there for a long time. So you just pick out the main points. So why is it important? It's The main one is to get an understanding or a sense of the idea or the information. Now, there are lots of uh, things, especially for adults nowadays, where you can get book summaries. And the book summary will be 15 pages. It's a lot of information, but it's the important information from that whole book. And we're just going to be looking at the key ideas. Key ideas. And it might involve some note-taking. Yeah, and that's a very important skill. Actually, this is a skill that you don't really get taught. We try to tell you to take some notes when you're training, but I know I definitely wouldn't talk to take notes, and it's a really, really important skill. So, how are we going to be successful? So, these are sort of our steps of success. So, when we're thinking about how do we answer our questions, first of all, we're going to be reading our text. Then, we're going to be rereading it and highlighting key bits of information. I'm highlighting lots of it, which is highlighting bits. Then, when in our answer, we just sort of rewrite those main bits into a nice paragraph. And this is one of those words that I love again, it's called brevity. The brevity is being brief. It means using as few words as possible. So we leave out all the unnecessary information and long descriptions, and we just keep to the main idea. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. So let's have a go at first. So let's have a go. Here's the text. What I want you to do is to read the text. Then I want you to reread the text, but just highlight the important bits. Something that you might think for some reason that it's going to affect what happens. And then we're going to rewrite it. And we're going to be brief. So have a think about it. Don't worry about this. How to be successful. That's going to be our steps. So read it. Once you've read it, unpause the video. So you've read the text. Now you're highlighting bits of key information. Uh, we noticed that a lot of my highlights that I've done are near the near the beginning because that's mainly where most of the information is being given to me. The rest of it is just progressing the story. So you'll notice that vampires is at the far end of the alleyway. You'll notice that Ruby spied the creature. So to spy the creature means to see the creature. She's tiptoeing. That's a very that's a good giveaway for how she's moving. 
We've got a dark uh, doorway to hide. We've got a revolver. Now, those of you might know, some of you might not know, a revolver is a type of gun. And she's holding it. Uh, and then uh, she's tutting and she said something that she shouldn't have said. So they're the bits that I thought uh, that might influence the story. So what I then went to do is I then took those bits of information and I wrote a really brief summary about what happened in here. So why don't you have a go? Take those brief bits of information, don't add too much more. Now write me a brief summary of what happened. So, a girl called Ruby is hunting a vampire in the street. She hides in a doorway, the gun in her hands, and starts talking. Yeah? Do you think that that is a good summation of what's happening? So we've got, there's a vampire in the alleyway. We might want to say, well, we've said she's hunting a vampire. She's spotted the creature. She's hidden in the doorway. And the gun has started to talk to her. I think that sums up pretty much what happened. So I checked my sorry to see if I had any unnecessary information that I could take out. So I've taken out all the unnecessary bits of information. So, what I want you to do is I want you to have a go. I want you to first read the text. Then I want you to reread it and highlight any key bits of information. Then I want you to write, write down the main ideas. And then I want you to summarise the text using these steps. And if you uh, manage to summarise the text, what I want you to think about is, do you think Molly has rode before? So, read the text, highlight some bits, write down the main ideas, off you go. Once you're, once you're ready, unpause the video. So, your answer could be varied. There's so many different ones that you could, uh, that you could write. But, stick to these main points. So, something about Molly and Beth are rowing in a boat race. Molly's really tired at the end of the race. And Molly and Beth beat Jim and her mum. So he needs something to do with these three points. Yeah? And it's probably going to be a good answer. I can't give you every single answer. Just base it around those points. And the challenge, you could say yes, because at the end of the, next, uh, at the, end of the text it says, you and Beth have beaten Jim and me in the Saturday challenge again. This implies that the Saturday challenge has happened before. This word again yeah you can't beat someone again for the first time so your task what I want you to do is I want you to read this comic read the text this is highlight some bits you might just want to go in and highlight just a few bits that you think are important. Rewrite the main ideas. And be brief. So you're going to summarise what happens. I don't want this happens and this happens and this and this happens and this happens. Maybe one or two sentences. You saw how brief my one was. If not, go back and have a look at it. And if you have done that, you've written one or two sentences. I want you to think about, do you think that Lucy and the boy are friends? Once you've done that, uh, remember, once you've enjoyed completing today's reading activity, uh, you should be reading for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Most of you are reading for longer. It's brilliant to see. We have some really, uh, we have some children that really love reading, which is brilliant. Uh, it's incredibly important to read as it just supports you in so many ways. Yeah, complete a book review. If you want to draw any pictures from your books, if you want to write anything from your books, if you've taken something from your book you really liked, I'd like to hear it. Yeah, write it down in a little 